just stop and think for a second. If this was as simple as the right versus the left, good versus evil, uh, however you want to frame this, the greatest culture war of all time, then who has time to put up bills like the Banking for All Act? And don't get it twisted. They always pick these, these titles and these descriptors that sound so innocent and they sound so like good for the people. But in reality, there's something much deeper behind it. And we'll get into the guy who uh, actually authored this bill or put it forward. It is now in an introduced stage. I don't know if it, what else has gone on with it. This was earlier this year in June. But this is essentially um, the case and the bill for getting rid of the dollar, going to digital dollars, and everyone gets a digital wallet. It's all ran through the Fed under a Fed account, as you can see here, maintains at the Federal Reserve Bank. So the Fed gets more power, even though one of the narratives running around is that Trump went in and gave the power back to the people and took the power back to the Treasury and the Fed is no longer blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? That's not necessarily true is because now this bill hasn't passed. It's just been introduced. But this this is concerning because it tells us where they're trying to go. And this is rooted back to uh, some of the stuff I was covering earlier, which is um, 2015, 2017, going below lower bound. The game plan here and the goal looks to be two birds with one stone. Get rid of the dollar. Get rid of this zero. This um, can't below, go below zero. Can't go into negative interest rate territory. With a digital currency, they can go into zero, uh, zero and negative all the time and you'd never know it. It would just always be in an inflationary state. And the inflation... Uh, what they tell us versus what it might be could be what we're similar to what we're seeing now. The inflation rate right now is completely different across the spectrum. The inflation rate that we're paying during Corona on eggs, on meat, on food is completely different than the inflation rate we paid before. The inflation rate on going to school and education right now, college education, is much higher than 2%. It's much higher than the, the um, standardized 2% that's part of the Fed mandate, blah, blah, blah. That's not true. So this next big push looks like it's going to be now digital dollar. And they call it the digital dollar because linguistically, it makes you still think that it is the dollar. It makes you feel warm and comfortable inside that they're not trying to you know, push you too quick. They're not trying to push you over the edge. Remember, it's always little subtle steps. And over 20 years, your, your life, the planet is completely different and you don't even know how. It's always baby steps. Everyone's going to get a digital dollar wallet digital dollar wallet that's a mouthful and so it'll act, act and operate the same way it does now within your bank account how you transfer money all of that but again the piece that we're all missing here is that when you can just keep printing and printing and printing and printing it inflates and when it inflates your purchasing power goes down okay so the more money is printed the more your purchasing power goes down now, this doesn't matter with something like US dollar tither, US dollar uh, USDC, and all these stable coins in the cryptocurrency space is because you're using those really quick to on-ramp into something else. And if, you know, the time that that's going to be actually pinned to, you know, an asset itself, which is what the dollar used to be, is the time you'll really start to see the discrepancy between that. I don't, I just don't think people notice it. Um and I also think that the amount that they print is much more under control, even though nobody really knows, like nobody keeps up on um, how much Tether they're printing, how much USDC they're printing, how much um, BNB dollar they're printing and all the new ones that are coming out, right? But uh, this is very interesting, very telling. Now this guy, I don't know him. He's Democrat out of Ohio. Here's this guy. Seems like a, seems like a nice guy. He's got a nice smiling, warm face. He's been um, pushing in a lot of bills though this year. I mean, just just look at this. So here's how they play these politicians. It's either the politician is like, oh my God, this is such an amazing thing. This is so good. And he's innocent, naive. Or there's some sort of kickbacks and lobbying going on and some sort of agenda. Or, you know, who knows? Maybe it's, you know, all these guys are on the same team, like I said. Um, but I just find it curious that it's like, for as much as even within the factions of the factions, everyone's trying to push that it's like, you know, Trump versus the deep state. Well, then why is this even getting, why is this even getting put up? This had Senate and House backing by the way 
this whole concept does. So it's like, so I don't know, maybe maybe it is Cowboys versus Indians and, and uh, you know, right and left hate each other or whatever, or they're at war, and then there's like these big evil bankers in the background going, Mwahaha, they're distracted, let's push through the bill. I don't know, and, and maybe they get this guy who thinks that he's like doing some good and maybe he's just gullible or something, and they, here you go. And that's how it happens. I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know that part of it. But this is already here, by the way. So you're thinking, yeah, Jay, maybe you're overreacting. This isn't here. Oh, it's here, baby. Let's talk about it. Okay, just back on the 6th of August, the future of retail payments in the United States. What is this FedNow service? Huh, this is interesting. Consumers and business across the country want to expect instant payments from the bank. Could this be a distributed ledger instant payment service network? Of course it is. It's an RTP network. It is instantaneous payments. Which, what have they been talking about with the stimulus payments? They've been talking about, yeah, we need to get this $1,200 check. You know, let's just get it out to a digital a digital wallet right away. Here it is, guys. Just passed in August. I didn't see this. I had to go back and dig to find this. Fed now, instant payments. Kind of looks like a very PayPal-ish, doesn't it? <clears throat> very interesting. Service design. Core clearing and settlement capabilities to support a range of transaction types and use cases. Instant payment network, instant settlement, okay? Which, wasn't this what Ripple was supposed to do? I don't know. Maybe there's a place for Ripple, maybe there isn't. Who knows, who cares at this point? It's all just a speculative risk asset that hopefully people will make money on and not get burned on. But here you go. So if they weren't going towards digital dollars, would this have been launched? Would this be out there? Would there be this beyond the hype, bis document released and there's been so many more back in 2017 talking about central bank digital currencies cbdc's wholesale and retail side in the center of the whole the whole thing the whole system would there really be all this talk and work about electronic money systems going beyond going negative going below the the zero bound eliminating the zero bound Again, the reason why that's so scary with a digital currency is because you can't really see it as well as you can see it when there's um, you know, dollars in front of you and you see this one dollar goes and gets this. Um, you'll see that with digital currencies, but you don't really see a lot of the underlying mechanism of it. And that's why I think it's so dangerous for people to understand anyways. But it's here. And now let's look and, and wrap up with just this piece. Consumer price index for all urban consumers. Purchasing power of consumer dollar bill. What is this right here? Is this, so that's the Fed, huh? That's since the Fed got created in 1913, we saw just an absolute decline. And ever since then, what, what is this right here? It's estimated that only 38 cents of a dollar is the actual value, which I, I, I think we could argue that it's like three cents. I think it's much less than this, but going off what the, the Fred gives us, the old St. Louis Fed, 38 cents of value per dollar. Not very much purchasing power, is it? Now, when we go negative interest rates, just look at Japan. Look at what those people do. They work their entire lives. They work their ass off all day long. And that GDP barely moves. You have a whole society that's given up children and you know relationships and all that stuff. All the, the finer things in life for working 16 hours a day, 18 hours a day, and their GDP barely moves, man. Look at Japan. Look into it. Research it yourself. And that's negative interest rates. That's what they're going to be able to do daily without even telling you. They don't have to announce this. This is what they could be doing when once something like this passes. And they're going to use corona and they're going to use getting the stimulus bills out and everyone's going to be demanding it. Because once again, it's only good if you can get everyone to demand it and everyone to beg and uh, basically concede to this is the way we're going to do it. All this talk of CARES Act and stimulus and that's how it's being pushed. And that's why it's being pushed through so fast. So I, I guess I'll leave you with this. Who is doing this? If this is cowboys and Indians, right versus left, Trump versus the deep state, who is doing this? The deep state? So then that means the deep state runs the Fed? Okay, so then that, you know, you know what I mean? Like, let's ask deeper questions. Let's ask deeper questions, see if we can get different answers. 
All right, my friends, I hope you enjoyed this clip. This clip came from a much larger video where I talk about this, this topic in depth. It's a 38 or 40 minute video, but this is just a sound bite of what you can expect if you were to go through that full video. That card will be on the screen now and you'll be able to dive into that full video. If you like this, share it, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.